Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Your energies, Four of Pentacles, the Tower and the Ace of Cups. Energies for your person, King of Wands, Seven of Wands, Two of Cups. What can we expect for this connection? Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords and the Sun. High Priestess from the bottom of the deck. Silence, Secrets, I would say. Secrets that can come out though, guys, because it seems that some of you can find out something not necessarily pleasant when it comes to the actions of your person. As soon as you find out what was unfolding behind the curtains, if we think about interferences and potential betrayals, unfortunately, considering the Seven of Swords, you can Take a step back in order to also take a moment for yourself and start thinking about this connection, which can be an important one for you and your person. We got the Ace of Cups, we got the Two of Cups, we got the Sun, but unfortunately, a vow of trust can be compromised without the real opportunity to fix it or restore it. So the Four of Pentacles for me works like the opportunity to sit on a decision in this version. Your person can try to ignite a conversation in order to explain something to you. We can think about the opportunity to justify their actions and their mistakes, possibly you may not be available to hear that type of considerations because you can be disappointed in a meaningful and understandable way. Guys, the tower is the fall of, let's say, a building, metaphorically speaking, a situation because something at the core of it was missing or stopped working. Let's say that it was compromised. Then there can be still the necessity to make a decision in order to let go of the situation. And some of you may be put in that position whether you like it or not. Because you will have to decide if you want to stay with your person despite what happened, despite what they did, or if you want to bring your love away, and this one seems to be the most likely outcome, considering the Eight of Cups that we got in the progression. Guys, I will not argue with the fact that there was love in this connection. Your person fell short when it comes to the ability to honor the relationship the higher good or the highest good in favor of the connection. The King of Wands in this situation can be the energy of someone that doesn't exactly know how to handle temptations. If there was a betrayal, guys, your person can deny responsibilities, seven ones. They can say that they are still in love with you and they would love to fix things with you because the connection is still a top priority for them. Unfortunately, I have to say that if we follow these energies, it is not true the same thing for you. Because it can be extremely difficult in a situation like this one to pretend that nothing happened. That's why, guys, the sun that we got in the progression can be the opportunity to turn on the light when it comes to certain things that have been kept secret for a while and can represent a sufficient reason to question the honesty of a partner. In this version of the Seven of Swords, there is an interesting 
factor when it comes to the two swords on the wall. There was a choice. There was a conscious choice made, I would say, by your person when it comes to a connection with a third person. They couldn't resist the temptation. They kept that situation secret, but secrets always come out. If you ask me, it's just a matter of time. But when a secret like this one comes out, everything is going to change because there can be a realization if we think about clarity, the sun, a realization that is not in favor of the opportunity to allow this relationship to stay alive. And in some sense, if we look at the Two of Cups card, it seems a sunset and the sun is going down for your person when it comes to the opportunity to keep the connection alive. This is not going to be possible. Your person can fight against the odds, even if they are going to try to explain to you why you should agree to give the connection another chance. The Eight of Cups, guys, is the energy that basically makes the reading together with the tower. We can say that. The lady is willing and ready to embrace the role of the full major arcana, willing to travel, willing to start fresh, start new elsewhere, small bag, so no burdens, and also the decision to leave behind a situation that all of a sudden maybe has become a disappointing one, one that cannot truly fulfill heart's expectations and heart's desires. I have to say, guys, that as soon as your person tries to justify themselves in order to explain to you something like they are doing you a favor about the potential betrayal that harmed this connection at its core, you can embrace the role of the high priestess when it comes to the willingness to listen to the words of your person, but at the same time with some type of quiet assertiveness about the fact that your decision to let go of the connection has been already made because the opportunity to find out about the betrayal is the deal breaker in itself from your perspective. And so your person can still try to fight in order to keep the connection alive. They can try to make difficult for you the opportunity to say, look, I am out because I am not willing to pretend that nothing happened. They can try to complicate things a little bit, considering the seven ones as a resistance also, but it's more than an option for those of you that can resonate. The opportunity to move in a different direction by leaving behind this situation. It's also possible to say, guys, that as soon as you make this courageous decision to pursue your inner happiness in a different scenario, you can cut communication with this person for good. There can be silent treatment coming from you towards your ex to be. I think that it is fair to say that and they will have to handle that situation. They are not going to like it, but they will have to accept it. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Merry Christmas to you and your loved ones. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.